Hi guys, I'm here today with Teddy, um, who is absolutely wiped because we've been Christmas shopping. <laughs> hey Teddy, you tired? Are you tired? So I thought this video would be a Christmas gift guide slash what I've got the pets so far. Um, I do plan on going to pets at home because I got a voucher through, so I thought I'd just do that separately. So... Yeah, I think I'll start with treats because normally everyone buys the pets some sort of treat at Christmas. So firstly, I just want to show you these. Now, I got these from Nose to Tail. They're a really good make brand of dog food and treats because they're 100% natural and British made. They don't use any nasties and this treat is literally just white fish and potato and that's everything. So it's probably one of the best ingredients I've seen around um, and I absolutely love this bag how cute is this um, this little box and I think the prettiest part is when you open it up it's it's just absolutely gorgeous and they smell nice so I'll show you inside now inside you get a pretty big sized bag and they're just like this and they look fab and Teddy keeps sniffing this um, pretty sure he wants some <laughs> Now I did actually win these in a giveaway on their Facebook page but I thought I would keep them and put them away for Christmas just because they're so cute. I th I'm not too sure how much they cost um, if you're going to buy them but I do know that's not too bad. The next thing I got was just from a little sort of local pet shop. Now these, this was a pound. It's 85% meat and 15% tofu and that's it. These are the liver sticks. Now they also did venison and things. And this is called Alpha Spirit. I haven't seen these around but I just thought they're quite nice meaty sticks. And because I don't buy Teddy anything processed, um, he doesn't get anything from pedigree or anything like that. I thought they were a great alternative as uh, natural and healthy. The next thing I got was this from Billy and Maggot. I always say that, Mag. Go, Billy and Margot, something like that. Anyway, it's got 100% air dried venison meat inside it and it's a Christmas cracker. How cute is this? And if I turn it over, I can actually get into this to show you what's in it without destroying it because it just sort of quickly slides back in. So inside this you get some venison treats and you get a little hat and a joke which is very cute if you're anything like me well, I'll just put them back in if you're anything like me by the time Christmas day comes around you really want to include the dogs in all the celebrations so I just thought this was a really cute thing to do after the Christmas dinner and it's quite big, um, it's a good size and I thought it would look really pretty under the tree. So, I don't, I don't. The cat's coming, it's my mum's cat. He's pretty big. Kitty. As you can see he's huge compared to the dog. Kitty. <sighs> what was I saying, animals? So this is, I think it's 5 or 6 99 on the website, pretty good. I'll put the links below. I really like this. The next thing I got was from Poundland and it's just 100% natural pig strips. It's like the dried pig skin type thing. This is one of the only like air dried type of treat that I will give the dogs because it gets really soggy before they swallow it. Can you smell them? Hmm. So that was from Pound Shop. I thought it was a really good deal because normally I pay pound fifty or something like that from Wilkinson's so I thought I would put a bag aside for the dog's stocking and I thought they could have one each when we're opening presents I thought it would just keep them occupied so I think let me just double check but I think that's about it for treats yes okay so now we'll move on to toys now this tie Teddy's been wanting forever, but he's not allowed it. <laughs> it's the cutest dog ever. Now, this was actually from a rescue centre that had, like, a big open day. 
and I spied this on a stall and it was only 50 pence and I thought you know the dogs just destroy soft toys so quick so I thought it was brilliant toy for them so that was just 50 pence and again if you don't have much money for Christmas if money's a bit tight you can just go to a second hand shop or a boot sale or somewhere like that and you can just pick up these soft toys as long as they don't have um, any sharp plastic bits or anything it's perfectly fine for them so the next few toys I got again is more towards the sort of budget end of price list if you're on a budget or if your dogs just destroy toys really quick and you'd be good spending like five or ten pound now this is for Ellie but okay no you can't have it this is for Ellie now she loves cushion she bites cushions and sort of soft bit larger toys now this was um, pound land and it's just called the squeaky soft toy I thought it was really festive and Christmassy and it's a good size and this would even be perfect size for German Shepherds and Retrievers and things and um, these I got for Teddy now, these are the four tennis balls for 99 pence from B&M Teddy really really wants them not till Christmas <laughs> not till Christmas so they were 99p I thought they were brilliant value I do get the, the soft Kong ones but I think it's good to have the harder ones for when you go and play in the garden and with for just 99 pence I don't mind if they get muddy and they get ruined and the next toy I got was from Rosewood and it's the Jolly Doggy Take Me Home for Christmas range and it's just a Christmas present and it's Weeks. It's vinyl and Teddy absolutely loves vinyl toys. It's one of his favourite. I've never had or come across a dog who prefers vinyl toys to the things like soft toys and balls and things, but he absolutely loves them. Again, that was um that was 99p and I thought it was brilliant for if you're on a budget. You don't mind paying 99p for a vinyl toy because if they destroy it, you think, well, it was only a pound and it's for Christmas, so it's not too bad. Another vinyl tie I got him was from Good Boy, and this is the Robin Squeakers. And it's a little Christmas Robin. I thought this was so cute. It's got a little hat on its belly. It's got a little hat on. And it's got lots of, like, um, grooves where the dogs can really get their teeth into it. That was a pound. I actually picked that one up from the range, but I'm pretty sure that Vet UK has it on their website too. Um, so you could check that out. Now the last vinyl tie I've actually got him, but again, Ellie lives here so whenever we get the dogs anything, it pretty much goes without saying that they'll share the toys or split the treats. So the other tie I got again was from Poundland. Now this is absolutely adorable, it's quite big, it would do a, a larger dog, it's like a ball. It's got a squeaker and I thought that was really cute and again, it doesn't matter so much if they destroy it. And vinyl toys are also good for the garden because they can have a wash. Um, but again, as with most toys, especially with vinyl toys, you just got to make sure that you supervise when you give them the toys. Now, I actually picked this up today. Now, I thought this would be brilliant to wrap up and put under the tree as opposed to put in the stocking. Now, I really wanted one of these treat dispensing balls. However, when I've seen them online, I haven't really come across one that I thought it was cheap or I thought he would like. So, I found this one today at a, a local market and it's from the... Yes, I thought it was. It's Sharples and Grand. I love this make. They do the best small pet stuff. And this is called the Snacker Ball Rolling Treat Dispenser for All Dogs. It's hard wearing, rigid plastic for long life, and it really is. And this is how it works. I'll get it out and show you, but basically you pull this out. You fill the treat, the ball up with treats and you put it back in. And they have to roll it and manoeuvre it to get the treats out. So as opposed to just a normal treat toy where it just has... The ball might just have a hole. I find that they come out quite quick. This one has kind of two grooves where the, the food has to go in either side. So they really have to sort of work for it. And this is brilliant for Teddy because he has the patience. Where Ellie, who has just come in. Ellie, hello. Come on then, up. Oh, you're coming up here. Ellie is eight year old now. She really doesn't have the patience for anything like this. She would definitely just sit here and cry. <laughs> 
Now, it's absolutely adorable. It's got all these ridges in and there's paw prints and bones. It feels really high quality, like you've paid £10 for it or something. And basically all you do is you pop this out. And you can see the grooves either side. It's just like this. So you put all the treats in there and then you push that back in and screw it round slightly so it can't come out. I thought this was brilliant. If you're anything like me, before you buy these kinds of toys, you don't want to waste your money, so you look up reviews and things. And I haven't really come across a dog rolling ball uh, dispenser that had rave reviews, and I didn't really want to spend like five or six, or I've even seen some at 10 and 15 pound without knowing if they were any good. So this was brilliant seeing it in person. Because I know that they'd really like it, um, that Teddy would really like it. And this is really hard plastic. A Staffy or a Bull Terrier, something with a really strong, powerful jaw, would definitely destroy this. However, if you supervise, I would definitely recommend this for all dogs, especially big dogs too. It's a really good size, as you can see. Um, so I paid, I don't think I paid very much for this. No, I paid £3.50 for this, and I thought... It's something I've really wanted to for a while for him, so I thought that would come in handy, so I'm really happy with that. Now, this is toys also, but it's more for the cat. Now, you just saw the cat, that's actually my mum's cat, um, he's called Kitty, and I just picked these up for Christmas for him. These are from Wilco's, now Wilco's has a fabulous selection of dog toys in, and clothes and baskets, these were only £1.50, which I thought was brilliant. You would definitely pay £4 or something in pets at home. And they've got um, full of catnip, so you'll definitely play with them. And I thought they'd be something to give him again on Christmas morning when we're opening our presents. I thought it would just keep him occupied and entertained while we open our presents. So that's kind of um, the treats and the toys and things for the dogs.